to behaviorism, the subject matter of psychology was not the human mind. It was not uh, thought or emotion or memory. It was behavior. Behaviorism rose as kind of a reaction to some of the excesses of Freudian psychoanalysis that the, the mind is populated with an id and ego and a superego and preconscious and unconscious and libido and uh, eros and thanatos, uh, that little boys have an unconscious desire to copulate with their mothers and a fear of being castrated by their fathers. A lot of kind of exotic uh, attributions to the mind of a, of a little kid without a whole lot of evidence. Uh, in reaction, behaviorism said, forget it. Forget the, the, the Oedipal complex, forget the death wish, in fact, forget beliefs, desires, or any kind of mental content. The idea was that psychology should be a science, and science deals with things you can measure. And mental entities, like thoughts and beliefs and wishes and images and desires and uh, motives, were not things you could measure with an instrument. Therefore, they were like ghosts and spirits and sprites and leprechauns. They were not the proper subject matter of psychology which should only study uh, the stimuli in the environment that a physicist could measure, the responses of an organism, and the laws of learning that determined how an organism would behave depending on its current stimulus situation and its past history of learning. This was captured in a, a couple of laws of learning. There was uh, Pavlovian conditioning, famous from Pavlov's dogs who heard a bell followed by a bit of food, and then eventually came to salivate to the bell. And opera conditioning, where say a rat in a box pressing a lever that delivered a food pellet would then start to press the lever over and over again. The idea being that once you identify the laws of learning, they would apply across the board to all stimuli, all responses, all organisms. So if you could nail down the laws of learning with a simple laboratory Preparation, like rats in a box, which the box came to be known as the Skinner box in honor of B.F. Skinner. That's what you needed to know for a science of behavior.